So as you may know, I'm always looking to expand my personal collection of rare and exotic aquarium fish. So when the stunning male black diamond stingray and the super rare grey giant garami got offered to me a couple weeks ago, I knew straight away that I needed them in my collection. Even if it meant driving nearly 3600 kilometers in just 48 hours to go get them. And of course, it's always an adventure. Welcome back to Obsidian Exotics. So this week, we're gonna be driving all the way up to Brisbane. So for those of you that didn't already know, I'm currently based in Melbourne, Victoria, which is about 1,800 kilometers away from Brisbane. So that puts the overall return trip at around 3,600 kilometers. So go ahead, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and just sit back and enjoy watching me go through crazy amounts of effort just to source out some of the best aquarium fish in all of Australia. Anyway, let me quickly get you up to date on how exactly all of this started. Now since the beginning of quarantine back in 2020, I've been offering a large aquarium fish transport service as part of my business. When I first started doing it, I only had a small SUV and a modified IBC that a friend of mine had made for me. I used to drive thousands of kilometers all around Australia delivering rare and exotic fish that were way too large to be shipped safely. Since it was still the early stages of what I was doing, and since no one else was really doing anything similar, I had to learn a lot of things the hard way. In order to be as efficient as possible, I got used to driving multiple days without any rest apart from stopping for fuel. And given the fact that my small SUV wasn't exactly designed for multi-day trips, or aquarium fish transport, I would always end up with horrible back pain and a drenched car. I broke my back. You broke my back is broken. What? Spinal. But to me, it was all worth it because it allowed me to travel all around Australia while still doing what I love. This service became so popular amongst my customers that in December of 2021, I was able to buy myself a brand new van, which meant that I was way more comfortable during my ultra long drives. And also the fact that after a combined total of almost 100 trips in nearly every state in Australia, I had come up with a rough method to be as efficient as possible without overworking myself. Well, sort of. Anyway, so as of May 2023, I've traveled nearly a quarter of a million kilometers since I first started doing it, and there's no signs of slowing down. So this particular trip is a special trip, because this time I'm actually transporting some new fish for my personal collection. Since starting this YouTube channel and trying to expand my business, I've been actively trying to expand my personal collection of fish. The first reason being so that I can meet the increasing demand by new customers, and secondly, so that I have more things to show you guys. So when this stunning male black diamond and this super rare grey giant garami was offered to me at a price I couldn't refuse, I knew I had to go get them. So at around 9 p.m. on a Thursday afternoon, my friend Josh and I grabbed all the food and drinks that we'll need for the journey, got some ice in the esky to keep the drinks cold, and hit the road. By driving straight to Brisbane without any rest stops, we can usually get there by late afternoon on the following Friday. I was hoping to get some really cool drone shots along the drive there. I knew from previous drives that we'll be going through many scenic parts along the east coast of Australia. But of course the weather was horrible for the majority of the drive, so the drone had to stay in the van where it was nice and dry. But hey, at least we got to drive past the big banana. We got to our hotel after dark, had a big dinner, and got some much needed sleep after almost 24 hours of straight driving. All right, it's 10 a.m. in the morning, and we've only got two things planned for today. First thing being find some food, because we're starving. And second thing is go through every single fish store that we know of in Brisbane. All right, let's get started. So after honoring a long-term tradition of having Taco Bell at least once during a road trip, we quickly went through all the shops that I love visiting while I'm up in Brisbane. Starting off with Annalee Aquarium, 
then we went off to Paul's Aquarium and Ponds. Mad Aquariums. Aquarama. Atlas Aquariums. And last but not least, Smith's Aquarium. I highly recommend you guys check them out if you ever find yourself in Brisbane with a day to spare. I won't exactly be doing any store tours, but do let me know if that's something you guys would like me to do in the future. After spending all day looking at fish stores in Brisbane, we went back to the hotel and got some sleep. Right now we're on our way to pick up the big stingray and the big grey giant garami that we're getting. Uh, so we've got the IBC at the back, um, we've just got to get there, fill it all up with water, get all the filters set up and yeah, pretty much drive straight to Victoria, uh, which is going to be about 19 hours straight driving. But what I'll try and do is we'll try and arrange for a water change halfway through, maybe in Sydney. Um, so that way I can check on the condition of the fish, make sure everything's all good. But yeah, I'll, I'll show you everything as we go. Once we arrived at the pickup location, we filled up the IBC with about 400 litres of water and got all the filtration set up. After many years of trial and error, I found large internal filters with mechanical and chemical medias to work best for transport. Now if you guys want me to make a more in-depth video on exactly how I set up my filters, what exact media I use and why I use them, Leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to start working on that as soon as I can. Alright, so we just picked up all the fish. Uh, it wasn't actually too bad. They didn't really put much of a fight on, so uh, we didn't really make a huge mess. Um, which is very weird. Like usually it's, it's a lot messier. There's water everywhere and they're splashing all the time, but yeah, it was pretty smooth. Now that everything's loaded up, we gotta go get some food and hopefully get some snacks and some drinks for the, the trip. And yeah, just, just ride through it. And this time, the weather was so much nicer. And when I came across this massive cotton field, I got the drone out to quickly check it out. You know how we were supposed to get food at like 12 o'clock? Well, it's now currently 6.09 and we still haven't gotten any food. So what happened is we were supposed to go on the coastal route, but because the town we were in was closer to the inland route, when I typed in the location we're heading to, it just by default took us on the inland route, which now meant we were like driving for like two, three hours for, you know, hoping that we would get to a, um, a shop or something where we could get some food except we just ended up in the middle of nowhere. It's really nice here. I got some really cool like footage of some cotton fields and a bunch of scenery but only problem is there's not a single shop anywhere. So we're just going to keep driving. Hopefully we link back onto the coastal road because we realize we want to stop at Sydney and the inland road didn't actually take us through Sydney. Uh, and we're going to stop at Sydney, do a water change on the fish, just as a precaution. Uh, but I've checked on them, they're doing really well, nothing to worry about. But main concern now is we're going to die of starvation. So I can't find anywhere to eat, and when we looked it up, the closest place is probably like two hours away. Uh, so I remembered that I actually have like camping supplies in my van. So I'm going to take this pot here and the portable stove, and we can actually cook some noodles by the side of the road because that's all we have and we haven't eaten in probably I don't know since 10 a.m. 9 a.m. Uh, I should have a gas canister somewhere obsidian cooking that's what this will be called anyway I'm sure you all know how to make two-minute noodles I'm gonna explain that to you but uh, we're starving, so I'm gonna get this done quickly. Quickly eat and keep going, because we have to actually go and do a water change. And even though we were parked on the side of the road, in the middle of nowhere, 
This was probably my favourite meal of the whole trip. Once we reached Sydney, we quickly did a water change and checked on the fish. After making sure both of them were doing really well, we soldiered on to Melbourne and got the newest members of Obsidian Exotics settled into their new tanks. It's now been a week since they've gone in their tanks and both of them are doing really well. The male Black Diamond Stingray is currently in a tank with my female Thousand Island Black Diamond, so hopefully I'll be expecting some babies from them soon. And the Grey Giant Garami is temporarily staying with a friend of mine until I've moved some tanks over to my personal monster fish breeding facility once it's ready. But I guess that wraps up the Queensland trip. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it and I guess I'll see you in the next one.